Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, right now I'm doing a lot of work uh, with ESPN's Undefeated, which is yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I read up on that. a website where uh, they focus on sports and culture, mm-hmm. and it's really about uh, which is another way of saying they focus on black folks. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so I've been going down and doing a lot of work on uh, Jackson State and Deion Sanders because he's coaching there. There's a sign behind you that says, "I was called by God to make a difference." What does that mean as it relates to Jackson State? That means I was called by God himself, not a man next to the man, but God himself to come here and provoke change. And when I say change, I mean change. Yeah, I was about to ask you about him. And, you know, uh, Dion and I were talking a few weeks ago uh, because he he was talking to a couple of his players and they were shocked at the reporters in the locker room because this was during the middle of the week. And he said, I've been knowing Jacques 25 years. Yeah. He said he's around because he sound like him right now. Stop playing, bro. (laughs) He said he's (laughs) around because he's the same dude consists today Mm -hmm. that he was 10 years ago, that he was 20 years ago, that he was 25 years ago when I met him. That's like he ain't changed. Same the day yesterday and fell. You know, he said so. And you brought up the word and he actually said it. He said it's that consistency that I don't have to worry about him, which is why. He's around right now. That's what's up. Because right. I don't have to worry about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's you real. He's going to do his job, and it's cool. And But uh, but the point of that is it's the relationships which are built on authenticity yeah. and built on realness. And again, and I've said this many times, uh, it's the people you had the best relationships with that you can have the toughest questions for. Wow. Because yeah. they know that you don't have an agenda. Exactly. So if I ask you why is your t- – like, I was talking to Dion the other day, and – after a game, and he basically said the players aren't good enough. Wow, there's a disconnect. We teaching them, they we telling it to them, they're not getting it. Mm. Okay, now you can accept that answer, or you can say, "Well, I got to ask you, dog." The obvious question is, "Are y'all teaching them well enough? Are y'all breaking it down that's for them to ask. understand?" <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the you question know? that you would but, ask anybody. Yeah, unless, oh man, he gonna get mad at me. So can't worry about it. Well, I mean, you say that, but people people are worried about it. Yeah, I know it, but I get I, I so, I'm kind of like that on my job, so I get exactly what you're saying. So that's the question you have to ask. Yeah, and then when you ask that question, oh, you get a much better answer, dog. We only had eight defenses in. Oh, we started talking about it really with the details. He said we only had eight <laughs> defenses in. I went to the sideline and said, "What defense y'all want me to call? What can y'all? What can we call where y'all won't have any mental mistakes?" They said, "Call this. We called that." Next play, we gave a 43-yard touchdown. Dude ran down the sideline. He probably still running. Okay. <laughs> that's a, oh, so now that's a great quote. That's a great answer. Why I get that answer? Because I wasn't afraid to ask the follow-up answer. question, right. which was, in a nice way, is it your fault that they ain't learning it? That's exactly right. I get it, 100%. So how do you think he's doing down there? Um, I think he's doing fine because – um, this is you know this is an interesting year. This is not his team. Okay. Like I would submit to you that of the twenty two players who started the last game, I would say the over and under would be five and a half starters in the fall. Wow. You take the over, you take the under. I would take the under. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't think a lot of the guys playing right now will be playing in the fall. Wow. And so I think he's done a good job. I think job. it's uh. But you know, anybody takes over a position like that, they haven't won in seven years. Yeah. That dude ain't no miracle worker. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.